Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are back with another hair and some makeup tutorial. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very excited about today's video because I'm just like super obsessed with this hair and makeup. So if you want to see how I get this look, just go ahead and keep on watching. But before we get started, of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell that we get notified anytime that I make a new upload. We do have a hair sponsor for today's video. Shout out to Sunbird Hair Company for sending over this cute little bob wig. I don't know about you guys, but I have been like super obsessed with bob wigs these days, mostly because it's just very, very hot where I'm at. So I'm having like hella inches right now, although I'm obsessed with that as well, like having hella inches right now just really isn't the move when it's like super humid and hot outside sometimes so these little bob wigs have definitely been coming in handy this one from sunbird hair company is super cute the hair quality is really nice and um, i'm living for it so i'm gonna go ahead and install this wig using my favorite lace adhesive you guys already know what it is it's the ebon lace adhesive this is the supreme holds one i usually like to do like two or three layers of this lace adhesive so i'll spray one layer of that adhesive first then let it dry down for a little bit let it dry and just kind of like repeat that until I have like maybe two or three layers of that um, adhesive down if you hear some rumbling noises it's my tummy I need to eat something I haven't it's like 12 30 as I'm like recording this and I haven't had like any lunch yet or like breakfast which is really unusual for me so if you hear my stomach like growling I'm very sorry I'm gonna have some food after this <laughs> I'm just like I really wanted to do like my voiceover first but anyways yeah so I went ahead and laid that lace down using that Evan lace adhesive once I was done with that I cut away all of the extra lace and then I went in with my elastic band and um, wrapped that around the edges for I want to say like maybe five to ten minutes or so just to like really melt that lace into the skin. And now it's time to get to styling this hair. So I'm gonna start off by just kind of working on the edges and the sideburns. So I parted away little sections for my sideburns as well as the edges. I went in with my hot comb and pressed everything forward like in the direction that I want the hair to go. Um, I trimmed away those little pieces that I want to use for my edges. And then to style my edges, I'm using it's the ORS Olive Oil Ultra HD Gel. I love this gel actually. I use it on my natural hair all the time to like do sleek ponytails and stuff. Um, um, yeah, it's a really great gel. Anyways, so I used that to style my little edges there. And um, I just did like, like my normal like little swoopy swoops. You know, nothing too crazy. So here's where things kind of started getting interesting. So I originally went into this like look thinking that I wanted to do like a very like Christy Turlington, you know, 90s style bob like situation because um, this hair actually comes with like a side part. Like when you open up the packaging and everything like that for this wig, like the wig will already have a side part there. I'm super inspired by that. I was like, that's so cool. I'm gonna like, you know, keep the side part and do like, you know, a, a really fluffy like full kind of like that supermodel hair very Christy Turlington was like the idea and then as I started doing like my um my eye makeup for off camera I was like you know what the direction of the eye makeup just doesn't go with like that hair style that I initially wanted so I decided to go back and do like a different style for the hair to kind of better match like the look that I knew I was gonna do for the makeup I found the, a picture of this cute little bob hairstyle on Pinterest because that's literally where I get all of my inspiration from 
and um, I thought it was so cute. So I was like, oh my gosh, this looks, I feel like this look would be so much better with this eye makeup. But yeah, that's pretty much how I got the, the idea to do these cute little pigtails. I used my uh, Got To Be High Insta Hold Hairspray to help me get the hair really flat and make the pigtails like, you know, super sleek and everything. I used some rubber bands to secure them down. And for the hair in the back, like the loose hair, I went in with my flat iron and curved the ends inward. So like towards my face. I also did like some antenna bangs. I don't know if that's what they're called, <laughs> but they, but every time these, I see someone do like these little um, bangs in the front where it's just like those two small pieces, they remind me of like antennas, like, you know, how, how ants and butterflies and little bugs happy antennas you know i always think of them when i see these i know i'm a dork i'm sorry but yeah so um <laughs> i added those but yeah that's pretty much the hair that's that's the look it was definitely like a struggle at first trying to get there but i feel like in the end like this this hairstyle turned out super super cute uh, don't forget all of the information for this wig is going to be down below in the description box if you have any questions just make sure to check there there should be a link as well to this exact unit thank you again to sunburn hair company for sponsoring this video and sending over this wig. It was such a moment. I'm definitely going to be wearing this hair again because it's very fitting for the summertime. <laughs> but yeah, so now that we're all done with the hair, let's go ahead and jump into this makeup look. So I did do my brows and one eye off camera. So I'm just going to show you guys how I did the other eye. I'm going to start off using some primer. I'm using the Be Perfect Perfect Prime eyeshadow base. I'm laughing because I literally use this eyeshadow base in every single eye makeup look it's you know it's just my go-to it works i'm a creature of habit it may be because i'm a capricorn you know we're just you know we're boring that way sometimes um so <laughs> i'm also gonna set that with some powder just to make sure that the eye area is smooth so first shadow i'm gonna use is called zest it's from the carnival four palette also known as the antidote palette by be perfect cosmetics and stacy marie you guys know she's iconic for her carnival palettes they're all amazing like i recommend them all so yeah i'm using that shade zest first i'm gonna place that onto the lid and then i'm gonna go in with shade buttercup it's another like yellowy type of shade from the same palette and i'm gonna use that as like my transition color so i'm gonna go in with a slightly fluffier brush and apply that onto the crease and kind of like drag it into the outer corner and those are the only two shadows that i use for this look i definitely was like going for something very like sunny inspired i was like you know what i'm just gonna use these yellowy tones and you know call it a day <laughs> i'm gonna do a couple of coats of mascara afterward. I use Max Magic Extension Mascara. After that, I'm going to pause with the eyes and move into skin. So to prep the skin for foundation, I'm using ELF's Stay All Day Primer, I think it's called. Um, this stuff is amazing, okay? Like I've been using this primer as well as the Stay All Day Setting Spray and my makeup has been like lasting all day. I'd probably have to do like a little powder touch up because I'm super oily, but that's literally it. Definitely give this one a try, especially for the summertime. I feel like this is really gonna help hold your makeup together. And then for foundation, I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Foundation in shade Medium Dark 2.3. I love this foundation. It's another product that I've been using a lot lately. You guys remember when I was like using that Charlotte Tilbury foundation? Like it was just like the only foundation I was using. I think this NARS one might be like my next you know, replacement for it because it's just been, it's been perfect. It has that nice soft matte finish and it just makes the skin look super beautiful and flawless. And then for concealer, I'm using Benefits Boing Concealer. Love this stuff. It's definitely more on the full coverage side. I'm going to use two shades of this concealer. I applied the lighter shade on the inner portion of the under eye and then I use the shade that's a little bit closer to my skin tone around that to help it blend a lot easier into the foundation. So I'm not going to do any type of cream contouring or like liquid blush today I was just kind of like really wanting to keep everything simple with my skin routine so I'm just going to jump straight into powder I'm using Chanel's natural finish loose setting powder in shade number 40 it's amazing and I highly recommend it I literally use this powder all the time it's it's beautiful so I'm going to use that powder to set the under eyes and just a very very small amount all over the face but yeah not too much because that NARS foundation already has like more of a matte finish for bronzer I'm using one from Huda Beauty Beauty. This is their glowish bronzer in shade number five. I think I may have picked up a little too much of this particular product because as I was applying it, I was like, man, I just look like very, this is a little much. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I ended up going in with like my uh, my powder brush just to kind of tone everything down. I'm not sure, maybe I just kind of like grabbed too much without realizing it, but my forehead and like the, the bronzer on my cheekbones was looking like a little, it was looking a little, a little too much. So I'm also going to be baking today. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder in shade Honey. I'm not going to take this all across the under eye though. You guys know I more so do this just to snatch the nose. So I'll apply this on the sides of the nose and the bridge of the nose. And then for blush, I'm using two shades from Beauty Bay. These are their powder blush compacts in shade Coral and Peachy. I like to mix these, these two shades together um, just to kind of get like that perfect peach tone. And um, I'm going to apply that onto the apples of the cheeks. And I'm also going to blend it kind of like upwards into the under eye area. And then I'll dust away the bake and apply my highlighter. I'm just doing a tad bit on the bridge of the nose and the tip of the nose. This is Max Extra Dimension Skin Finish in shade Oh Darling. Use this all the time. It's definitely like my go-to highlighter, especially now that I don't use too much highlighter anymore. I just kind of stick to one and keep it pushing. Now that the skin is all done, I'm just gonna finish up the eyes. I went back in with those two yellow eyeshadows that I use on the lid and the crease and I placed those on the lower lash line. Then for the waterline, I used my new favorite eyeliner pencil. This is LA Girls Eyeliner in shade Super Bright. I'm also gonna do a couple coats of mascara using that same one from MAC. And then I'll throw on my lashes. These ones are from Shein. I'll leave a link to these lashes down below in the description box. And then for today's lip combo, I'm going to start off lining using a new lip liner that I recently picked up from NYX Cosmetics. This is their Line Loud Longwear Lip Liner in shade Rebel Kind. Love this pencil. It's very smooth. It just like glides onto the lips so well. It's super pigmented. It's everything that you could possibly like want in, lip, in a lip liner. And I think it's like $8 or something like that. So definitely on the more affordable side. So I used a combination of Huda Beauty's liquid matte lipstick in shade girlfriend and i also used the about face matte liquid lipstick the about face one was definitely way too light just way too light i always forget how light this lip color is <laughs> so that's the reason why i added that huda beauty one just to kind of tone it down a little bit i also added a gloss it's definitely one of my favorite glosses from mac this is their lip glass in shade oh baby it's so nice <laughs> It's a cute little like golden bronze shade and it's definitely one of like their OG colors. Like this, this gloss in particular has been around for a very, very long time since I worked at MAC and that was like eight years ago. <laughs> But yeah, so it's, but it's a really, really good color. Then to set this makeup, I'm using two setting sprays. One is from Peach and Lily. It's their Glass Skin Veil Mist. It's gonna give the skin a little bit of a glow. And then I use Elf's Stay All Day setting spray just to really get this makeup to like hold on for the rest of the day. And then for the final touch, I wanted to add some freckles to this look. So I went in with Freck Beauty's Freckle Makeup in shade Noir. And I added that onto the bridge of the nose and just a few on the tops of the cheeks and that is the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed today's hair and makeup tutorial if you have any like summer looks that you think i should do definitely leave them down below in the comments but yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe to the channel i'm so ready to have some lunch i think i'm gonna have some sushi yeah yeah sushi sounds nice thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one